This is Zair News, English News Edition. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kareem Fazakari, and you're watching the English News Edition from Zair News Channel. First off in our local news, Prime Minister Abdul Malik Salal is paying a working visit of inspection to the southern cities of Ingazam and Burj Baji Mukhtar as part of the implementation of the head of state, Mr. Abdul Aziz Bouteflika's program. More with Salim Amari. Prime Minister Abdul on the latest in Egypt, the government declared a three-month state of emergency, which would begin on Saturday in the north and center of Sinai Peninsula, after a suicide car bombing there killed 30 soldiers. The bombing on Friday was carried out by a terrorist group who rammed a checkpoint with their explosive-packed vehicle, security officials said. Back to Algeria now and in local sport news. As part of the Mobili's first league football championship competition, USM Algiers defeated C. R. Bill with that team by two goals to nil at the Hamadi Stadium here in Algiers. The team of MCL Ulma lost 1 0 at home to ES Sirif, and CS Constantine trounced visiting USM Al Haraj squad by four goals to one. In other results, MC Algiers and Nahd Husinde drew 1 0, while MC Oran beat visiting RC Larba team by two goals to nil. And for their part, the squad of ASO Chlif tied nil all with the visiting MOB Bijaya lineup. In the Iraqi files, senior U.S. officials have said that they are considering an Iraqi request for more American military advisors to help the country's security forces in their campaign against the so-called Islamic State. A senior Obama administration official said on Tuesday that the Iraqi request came up in meetings that Antony Blinken, American Deputy National Security Advisor, and other U.S. officials had with senior Iraqi officials last week on a trip to Baghdad and other parts of Iraq. The senior official, who briefed a small group of reporters on condition of anonymity, did not say how many more advisors were requested. The vote on Scottish independence takes place this Thursday. If Scotland votes yes, the United Kingdom will split and Scots will go their own way. This, while David Cameron insists he will not resign if Scotland votes for independence, and Gordon Brown makes rousing speech defending patriotic no vote. Shakib Lawishi. After long summer holidays, new titles are starting to appear on library shelves, coinciding with the upcoming International Book Fair of Algiers, held each year at the Palace of Exhibitions here in Algiers. However, this year's literary comeback is marked by a rather small number of new publications. The details with Said Bouazi. In economy now, the city of Oran in the west of Algeria has held during three days the International Fair for Renewable Energies where hundreds of local and international exhibitors showed their product. Thousands of visitors came from all over the country to discover what was displayed to them. Shakib Lawishi. The United States in coalition with the Gulf countries along with Egypt, Lebanon, Jordan and Iraq declared in a joint statement at the end of a regional meeting held in Jeddah in the presence of U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry their pledge to work together to stamp out the organization of the so-called Islamic State and to take part in the coordinated military campaign to be unleashed against the extremist IS movements which has taken control of several regions in Syria and Iraq. The new administrative division undertaken by the Secretary General of the FLM Party, Ammar Saidani, ahead of the 10th conference, which is scheduled to take place early next year, has aroused divergence and confrontation amongst the party's activists in various regions of the country. Salam Amari. Let's move now to the United States. Under a new trespassing law, policemen in Barion in Washington, D.C., can now remove people passing from public spaces if they smell something which is and reasonably offensive to others. That could be anything from body odor to too much cologne or perfume. More in this report. In the Middle East, and precisely in Iraq, 14 people have been killed in a car bomb attack near a market in the capital, Baghdad. According to Iraqi medical sources, the explosion wounded another 37 people, and it is expected that the death toll will rise in the coming hours. Welcome back, dear viewers, and now we move to something about science and technology where we will discuss the features of the Galaxy Note 4, a new device recently released by the electronic giant Samsung. Palestine has put a fourth resolution at the United Nations Security Council calling for the complete withdrawal of Israeli forces 
from the occupied Palestinian lands captured since 1967, including East Jerusalem, by the date of November 2016. Adam Sharif. First in our news file, MPs of the National Popular Assembly or Lower House of Parliament adopted on Wednesday by a majority the downward revision of the cost of the stamp for biometric passport, set as 6,000 dinars instead of the 10,000 dinars proposed as part of the 2015 finance bill. MPs adopted this amendment in a plenary session devoted to the adoption of the 2015 Finance Bill, chaired by Speaker Mohammed Larbi Wild Khalifa in the presence of Finance Minister Mohammed Jaleb and several other members of the government. Exactly. Well, having said that, I don't really have much, that much time. We do know that the Algerian government right now are doing kind of efforts, That's you nice. know, in order to boost the tourism sector. We speak about uh, giving loans with low, very low interests. Yeah. Okay, so this is also something counted yeah. for the Algerian government. Okay. Yes. So, for the thank you so much. Tourism. That would be it for my time concerning Invoke, but we're going to come back with a different story. New European Union sanctions against Russia have come into force, blocking loans for five big Russian state banks and curbing EU business with Russian oil and defense firms. The aim is to keep pressure on Russia over its role in the Ukraine crisis. But the measures could be eased or lifted if a ceasefire in Ukraine holds, according to EU sources. Russia says it is preparing a response. One top Russian official said cars imported from the EU could be targeted. Meanwhile, NATO says Russia still has about 1,000 heavily armed troops based in eastern Ukraine. Yes. Indeed, but we do not have enough time to wait and see what is going to happen. Okay, <laughs> so basically that is the end of our talk show. If you want to see more of us, please hit like on Facebook, support us in order for this show to continue. Goodbye. Gary Fazakri.